Hello everyone, my name's Jeff Spaulding and welcome to my modded Minecraft Explain series. Today I'm going to be going over storage solutions and we will check out ender chests with you, storage crates, storage drawers, ender tanks. So lots of really cool useful blocks here, so let's get started. Right here we're get, we see the ender chest. It's just like a normal chest in that it has this little inventory here, but what makes it unique is that any ender chest with the same color combination on top, it's like triple white here, will share the same inventory with all other chests like it. So I just tossed the white block in right there. I always forget whether it's like diorite, andesite, granite, all that good stuff. But open this part up, diorite, we see it inside here. Um, also, these ender chests, you can make this ender pouch that also has that same color combination and the ender pouch can also access the contents of the pouch or of the chest from wherever you are in the world. So extremely useful and even if you're in different dimensions like say the nether or the end, um, this still works cross dimensionally as well. So extremely useful set of blocks right there. Alright, so I apologize for my cat being high maintenance right there, but we're moving on here to just demonstrate the point a little bit further. Um, this just shows that we have a red, white, white combination and a white, yellow, white, which we just use dyes in order to create. Where this has two cobblestones in it. The other one has three sand. Red with two cobble. Yellow with three sand. Ender tanks work the same here, but instead of items, they run and teleport liquids. Got some lava in there, water in the green ones. It's time to be on the imagination station right here. We have, imagine, you're inside your mine shaft. You just went mining with your fortune pickaxe and all that good stuff because we all mine with a fortune pickaxe and ended up getting some emerald ore. And you know, in order to get this down to actual emeralds, you're going to need to get it to a furnace. But lucky you, you're smart and have a much more useful chest than your standard chest. You have this one that sent all the way over to your na -na 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 regular base. So here's the ender chest in your base, which you are smart and hooked directly up to a furnace, which is now cooking some emeralds up into your ender chest, which moves over to your other ender chest inside your awesome item sorting warehouse. Moving on from our ender storage blocks, we're moving into our storage drawers. Now these are Basically, drawers that hold just one type of item, but up to 32 stacks normally, which will normally equate to like 2,048 items as we see here. But they also have like some little upgrades to them too that can make them a little bit more useful. For instance, we have a status upgrade, which when applied to these drawers shows if it's full or not quite full which I will kind of mention that if you ever want to remove an item from it, one item, left click, um, and then a full stack of items, shift, left click. If you want to put items back in, you can right click for one or double click, and put as many as you can in. Now this stopped here because it is full, but if you add a void upgrade to it ever, you can essentially get it so if you have extras of this item and you just want to get rid of them, do a little double click and they're all gone into the void. If we removed a stack and this is not full, it will not void out the item. Next up here, we have a little cool status upgrade too, which one applied shows you how full it is kind of based on how many items are in there. Let's like drop out a bunch of these stacks of diamonds. You can see that the fill meter is a little bit less. So it's a little bit more visually appealing, I feel a little bit more useful. Um, also, there are storage upgrades where you can increase the number of stacks that are available to it. This one right here is a storage upgrade five, where you can get up to 13 times the original 2048 value. So for all them diamonds that you want to stash in here, Boom, can. Um, and then one other block too, to kind of note, or one other item you can use for these blocks is the key. Um, the key basically locks a 
chest so that it can only accept the item that was in it. So for instance, this diamond block, if we remove it, now it's a blank drawer and you can throw anything in there. Like for instance, this diamond. However, if you want to change that so that even if you took out the last remaining item in the drawer, by locking it into place with that key, with this symbol, this will always be for diamond blocks. Very, very useful. And I'll almost always use drawer keys in just about all my drawers. This whole system is not super good for diamond swords because diamond swords normally don't stack on top of each other. So just to kind of demonstrate here, it only allows 32 stacks. Well, in the case of a diamond sword, one item equals one whole stack. So this bad boy is kind of stuck at only accepting 32 swords in total. And the last thing that I'm going to get into in regards to storage drawers is the storage drawer controller, which it basically just has to be um, right behind a whole row of these storage drawers. And essentially it just, it allows you to have just one input into it and it will essentially manage everything that gets inputted into their separate slots and kind of do that for you. This had six different items and it threw them into six, six different drawers for us. That's really, really useful. It can save you the pain of having to, having to basically connect each individual drawer up. It looks a lot nicer to BT dubs. All right, over here, just to demonstrate, it'll still work. Not sure uh, what the plans are for somebody uh, with a chest like that, being nukes and TNT and such, but you get the picture. Now, if you really want to get fancy with these blocks, you can use different types of wood to create different color variants of the drawers. You can also get one by two drawers or two by two drawers. In the one by two, you're essentially just having the amount of total stacks per each mini drawer space. So yeah, this takes 32, 32 stacks, 16 here, 16 here. And if we really want to split it up into two, two by two, we have eight stacks of each item in there. Storage crates you can find in some of my servers here. They are basically super chests. Like we got all this inventory space right here. Got some leather in this one. You can get a medium size and large size. Medium, same sort of deal, but it has a whole second page and large with a whopping third page. I really love to use these storage crates in conjunction with a drawer controller an ender chest and storage drawers here. So let's just demonstrate tossing all these bad boys into our ender chest, which is accepting all of our items and throwing them into drawers. And then once every possible slot is filled up, then it basically can use this storage crate as a little buffer chest for everything else that hasn't already found a home. Wrap things up, modded Minecraft does have plenty of options for fluid storage, uh, such as this basic fluid tank and our fluid tank from Ender.io. And we can actually pump some of these liquids that we stored earlier with our Ender tanks by using our little fluid conduits here. Oh, look at that. How beautiful is that? Lava and water for days. Thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like me to go into bigger detail on any blocks, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, or even want to give me some feedback, by all means let me know down in the comments below. I thank you so much for all of your support, and as always, I appreciate you.